Trust the first impression. What do you see? I feel like I see mountains yes. around me. Mm -hmm. I see mountains. It's really dark. Mm -hmm. Is it daytime or nighttime? <coughs> It seems like it's nighttime, but it sort of looks like that image, like when you see sort of like a, a film, a photograph film, and it's mm -hmm. like black and silver. Yes. So there's mountains kind of surrounding me, like I'm laying maybe at the bottom of a cavern, mm -hmm. looking up, and it's... There's nothing really else around. There's nothing visible, trees or... Mm -hmm. It's just mountains. Yeah, and they're sort of plateaued. Mm -hmm. Focus on your body for a moment and tell me if you feel that you have male or female energy. What does it feel like? Do you feel that you have a body? Not really. Mm -hmm. I feel more like a black blob. Mm, black blob. Okay. Very good. So let's find out more about this black blob. Tell me more about it. What do you sense from it? I don't sense anything really, it just feels really heavy. Mm -hmm. Can you move? Not really. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're part of this landscape? That you're attached to it somehow? Yes. Mm -hmm. So focus in on it and see what do you feel that you are? Do you feel solid? I do feel solid and I feel like I'm, maybe I see maybe like fire or something like, mm -hmm. I'm, I might be at some like rock or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you sense that there's fire? In the sense of like, I'm in it, like molten lava mm -hmm. or something. Okay, very good, very good. So do you feel that you're moving? While you're in this blob? No. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you've solidified? Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. So now that we know that you've come from some uh, blob, what do you feel there? What sense do you get? I feel like I'm part of the earth, like I'm part of the creation or the whole of it. Mm -hmm. Like my being is part of what makes the earth. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have any connection with anything else around you that you can communicate? No. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you stand alone? I feel connected to the fire, mm -hmm. but the fire somehow is connected to me like it moves me. Mm -hmm. Let's find out more about that. We're going to close that scene. We're going to go back in time, back in time before you were created. Allow yourself to go back and open the scene where you were created. And tell me where you are. Look around you. I just 
see sort of a white light. Mm -hmm. And it's just sort of a, looks like a, a long, straight white light. Mm -hmm. Can you move? I don't feel like I need to move. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what you are. Focus your attention on yourself. Do you feel that you're solid or not? In this place, I feel like I'm particles, like sort of mm -hmm. everything. And you're sort of like all of these white, white mm -hmm. light particles moving in like an asteroid pattern around in a circle. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of just watching it. I feel like an, more of an observer. Mm -hmm. So let's observe and see what happens. I want you to see where this is going. Allow yourself to go through it. Tell me what you see. What's happening? The light is turning orange now, mm -hmm. sort of reddish. Now it's fully in my eyesight. It's the only thing that I can see, just this sort of pink reddish light. Mm -hmm. Are you getting closer to it? Or is it getting closer to you? It feels like it's completely surrounding me. Mm -hmm. What do you think this light is, is all about? What are you getting from it? I feel like it's some sort of... something's being made. Mm -hmm. Or something's being... trying to tell me something. Listen and see. Connect with it telepathically. What message do you get from it? The first thing that sort of comes up is I'm everything. Mm -hmm. So what happens after this? After it surrounds you? doesn't seem to do anything other than it's getting dimmer. Mm -hmm. There's nothing around. There's nothing that I can see, really. All right, let's close that scene now. And let's go drifting and floating to another time in another place where there's information that will help you. Allow yourself to drift and float through time. We're looking for the answers to your questions. Where are you? I see like a wave, like a... It almost looks cartoon, like mm -hmm. a surfing wave. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of looks like that famous Japanese painter mm -hmm. who makes that wave. Is the wave moving? It is, but it sort of stops. Mm -hmm. So when it stops, what do you do? I'm just staring at it. Mm -hmm. It seems like I'm far away from it, sort of floating above it, just looking at it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have control of this wave as you look at it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what are you going to do with it next? I took it to show me where it goes. Mm -hmm. And it shows me a beach. 
Let's go there. Describe this beach for me. It seems to be empty. There's no one there. There's no buildings there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel tropical, mm -hmm. but it's warm. Describe what it looks like. It's just got a short beachfront mm -hmm. with sort of like ground, a lot of ground cover, green grasses, mm -hmm. like high grasses. And then when you walk into the grasses, there's sort of sparse trees on the sides that are not palm trees and they're not evergreens, but they almost look like prehistoric. Mm -hmm. They're trees that I've seen in India. They're vine-like. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe your body for me. I can't see any features, but I feel... Maybe, and I don't know if I'm male or female, but I can see myself. And I'm tall and thin and very fit. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female? I feel male, but also ambiguous. Mm-hmm. Maybe male. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you have feminine energy? Yes. Mm-hmm. You could be both? Maybe. Mm-hmm. You say you can't see your features. I can see something. I feel like I look like a lion. Mm-hmm. But I'm standing upright like a human would. Mm-hmm. Look down at your hands and see what you can see from your hands. My hands look human, but also like cat-like. They're extra big. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have like a really long tail like a like a lion mm -hmm. but it, I'm still I look like a human but with like exaggerated features like a lion mm -hmm. what about your hair I don't really have hair mm. on your head anything no it's like my head extends out mm -hmm. almost like it's not the regular shape of a human head. Mm -hmm. It's got like... I don't know, like maybe like a... How dragons have the sort of extra part. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like it has, except for not pointy. It's just sort of extended and brown like a lion. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about your face? What kind of a face do you have? Is it a cat-like face? It's more human, but mm -hmm. not human. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're doing here? I'm sort of just walking around. I don't feel like this is any time that I've seen before. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a gassy... Now it's like a gassy planet, but mm -hmm. it's got like grasses. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of walking through like this m moody area, but it's bright. I, the world is orange, mm -hmm. like orange and red. And I don't see anyone else or anything else. I just see trees and large grasses and this orange sort of gassy clouds. Mm -hmm. How is this place illuminated? I can't see a sun, but it's like everywhere you look, it's just orange and bright. Mm -hmm. And what color is the water? You said you were on a beach. I walked out of the beach and now I'm in the grasses. Okay. But the, the water was really dark blue, almost black. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene and find out where it is that you live in that place.
Allow yourself to go to the place where you live. And tell me what you see. I see the weirdest thing. It's like a... It's like a... A little baby. It looks like a baby inside of a... But not like a human baby. It's, it's like the skin is translucent with... And you can see all of the veins. So like very blue and red. Mm -hmm. But like this baby is sort of turning in this rock-like structure. Mm -hmm. And half of the rock is cut open. And it's sort of turning like a... I don't even know. It's... I, I don't know how to explain it. It's... It's almost like I feel like that's how this being, this baby, was created. Mm -hmm. Out of the rock? Out of the rock, and it's like that sort of subsection when of stones where you can see the inside of gems sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The baby's inside of that, and it's turning. I can't see its face, though. But its veins are really blue. Everything's blue. What are the features? What are the features like on this baby? I can't really see the face, but it feels like a human with dark hair. Mm -hmm. But it's still like in utero, in this rock structure. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like I'm, it's normal for me to see this. Mm -hmm. So what do you think that this place is? Is this your home? Yeah, I think maybe. Mm -hmm. This is how people are created, I think. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody around with you? No. Do you feel that you would have a mate? Or is this how you reproduce? Yeah, I don't feel connected to anyone. I feel like... Like, I almost feel like that thing is, or that baby is me, and mm -hmm. it's like telling me telling me that this is where I came from. Okay, very good. Very good. So let's now advance to another to another scene in that same lifetime. Close that scene and let's go to another very interesting scene. Something is happening. So I see like, I'm still in this like gassy world. But what I see is like, I'm in this water now and I see these like plumes of smoke almost coming from down below the water. Mm -hmm. And the water's green and blue, but looks toxic like, like nothing I've seen on earth. Mm -hmm. And this smoke, like this plum, like brown plume is coming from below and out of the water. It creates a funnel and covers the entire sky. What do you think this is? I, I feel like it's just the way that this planet is. Mm -hmm. Is this a natural occurrence in this planet? Yes. It, yes. Mm -hmm. And what is the purpose of this bloom? Connect with it and find out. I feel like it gives not oxygen, but it makes the life, it makes life somehow. Mm -hmm. Is this, um, is this plume some sort of the atmosphere? Does it yes. Get, so is it coming from inside of the earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this planet, does it seem that everything comes from inside the planet? Yes. Okay. So let's find more scenes that depict where more of this life is being created. I want you to go to another time when you're seeing something evolving on this planet. It just seems like more sort of white light that's like almost like a waterfall, but it's not water. It's like light energy. Mm -hmm. 
and it's coming down like like a waterfall on some long structure. Mm-hmm. What is the structure? Not a. F- it it just seems part of the earth, but I can't see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It just seems like this huge cascading waterfall of of energy. Mm-hmm. And how does that affect you? I'm I I'm just kind of watching it. Mm-hmm. But I feel very normal. Very good. What is it that you think you do on this on this planet, on this place? What's your job there? What's your responsibility? I can't see. I don't know. Mm. What comes to you? When you think about being on this planet, is this your home? Or are you an observer in this place? I feel like I'm an observer, but it feels comfortable. Okay. Like everything that I see feels very normal. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me more about this place? Does it have a name? I'm just gonna say what came to my mind. Mm-hmm. It was like Andromeda. Mm-hmm. And do you have a name? I, I. It sounds funny, but I, the name Perseus. Mm-hmm. Perseus. When I say that name. Does that resonate? Perseus. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Perseus, I want to find out what it is that you do on this planet. I want you to close the scene and go to a very important scene on this planet where something is happening in your life, something that defines your life. Be there now. Where are you? Look around you. It's really dark. I can't see anything. Mm. Do you feel that you're inside or outside somewhere? I feel like I'm outside. Mm-hmm. It feels like maybe I'm in not in the planet, but in the universe. Mm-hmm. What do you think has caused you to be outside of this planet? I don't think that I stay here. Mm-hmm. Where do you go? I'm seeing like a really bright purple orb. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if it's a planet. All right, let's go towards that orb and see what it is. How do you how do you travel in this darkness? I just move. I just go. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's travel towards that orb and tell me what happens. seems like a it's like a bright purple orb that is like a it feels like an entity like a mm-hmm. a being but there's no form it's just circular mm-hmm. and it's got like wisps on on the out on encircling it mm-hmm. and it's just kind of looking at me but I can't communicate with it no all Consciousness can communicate telepathically. I want you to open up your communications channels. Connect mind to mind, consciousness to consciousness. Connect with this being and find out what's going on. This 
things feminine. Mm -hmm. What is she telling you? That everything's okay. It's telling me that I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Did something happen to your planet? can't tell. Mm -hmm. What else do you get from this orb? She's now just trying to be in my mind. Mm -hmm. She's just sort of putting her energy into mine. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I feel like she's like probing me. Mm -hmm. How but does it feel? Is it uncomfortable? Or no, okay? I trust her. Okay. She's just like doing a body scan. Mm -hmm. But she's not communicating. Ask her to communicate with you. Let's ask her who she is. She's not responding. Mm -hmm. Do you feel she's finished scanning? I feel like she's almost sort of sitting on me. <laughs> In like, what way? Is it a good way or is it uncomfortable? It's not uncomfortable. It's just more of like, what do you want? Uh huh. Let's find out. If you ask her directly, she has to answer. What does she say? She's not saying anything. I'm sort of seeing like flapping wings or something like a bird, mm -hmm. like a big bird, like a some kind of raptor or hawk or something. Mm -hmm. She as she's she's moving her purple energy out of me and it's turning into the bird. Mm -hmm. What kind of bird is she? Describe. Really long wings, brown, but the tips, the bottoms are white. And I, I don't think it's a bird on this planet. Mm-hmm. What form is it in? Now it's gone. Mm-hmm. It's almost like the purple moved off of me when I asked her mm -hmm. who she was and she pulled back and it turned into the bird mm -hmm. and now it's gone. Does it have features like a bird? Yes, mm -hmm. very much so. And, and the body of a bird? Yes, and it was flapping its wings. Very good. Did it fly away? Yes. Okay. Very good. So let's close that scene and let's go to another very important scene in your lifetime, in that lifetime. See yourself moving to that lifetime and tell me where you are. Where are you? I almost feel like I'm in a desert. There's a storm. Mm -hmm. It's a massive wind dust storm. I see like a... It's nighttime, but I see the dunes. And the wind is blowing the sand. Mm -hmm. But it's really dark. There's no one. Do you feel like you have the same body as before? Take a look at your body. Or 
No, I don't feel like I have the the lion attachment. Mm -hmm. So what do you look like now? I feel male, but I can't really see myself. Mm -hmm. You can feel yourself. I feel young. Mm -hmm. Maybe like I'm wearing like some sort of... I don't have a shirt on. I think I'm wearing some sort of like helmet. Mm -hmm. But it's... It's like a... I'm wearing like white, a white skirt. Mm -hmm. I'm really muscular. Mm -hmm. I, I look like Egyptian times or something. But it's almost in the future. Mm -hmm. This helmet is like gold and it's got the tail that's the same as the lion, but it's a helmet. Okay. But I'm definitely male, I have black hair, and I have arm cuffs, dark skin. What are your features like? Can you tell now? I see, I can only see from the side, but I feel like he's handsome. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the sand, but there's a storm. So let's see what happens next. Where do you go? I'm holding something. Mm -hmm. And it feels like a doll. A doll? Yeah, like it's not real, but... Mm -hmm toy or a doll or something. Take a look at it and see what it looks like. I'm carrying it under my arm. It's... I can't really tell what it is. Use your other senses. Sense it out. You know, this sounds weird, but I feel like it's a missile. Mm -hmm. It feels... Like a missile. Mm -hmm. What do you think the intention of this missile is? I feel like it's war. there's some war maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm in battle. The clothing is battle clothing. And I'm looking out on the horizon. There's something that I'm looking for or waiting for. Are you by yourself where you are? I am, but I feel like there's... I'm a part of something else. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to advance that scene to where we know what's happening there. Allow yourself to advance. What do you see? I see like this ship. It's like a... It looks like a, a it's like metal, mm -hmm. bronze and pokey, I know, pokey, like a nettle, it looks like a nettle plant, mm -hmm. the nettle flower, that's what the ship looks like, mm -hmm. and it's ominous. What it, color is it? It's like bronze. Mm -hmm. How big is it? It's big. It's big. It's like bigger than our planes. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like like the badminton racket mm -hmm. thing. It's got, it's like round in the front and pointy in the back. Mm -hmm. And the world or the sky it's in the sky and it looks like blue and purple with white clouds it's almost like the sky looks like pictures of what galaxies look like mm -hmm. but this ship is I feel like it's maybe that's what I'm looking for watching for mm -hmm. I can't tell if it's bad or good or... I don't think it's part of 
who I am, though. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Let's find out what happens with this ship. Allow yourself to move forward and get the answers. I just see these bright lights, like almost like a, like the ship is shooting big energy balls, mm -hmm. like at the planet. But I'm, it's shooting the planet. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone from the planet? It's shooting back. It seems like there are, I can't see people, but I see like rockets, like maybe I was holding one of those rockets. How do you shoot these rockets? I don't know. They, I just see them going up into the air. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm someone shooting at that ship. But I can't see other people, I just see the rockets. Alright. So and let's it, see what happens. It's not doing anything. It's not doing any damage. Mm-hmm. How far is this this ship from the from the surface? How far do you feel it? It's close, but the surface is gas. Mm-hmm. Except for the sand dunes, we have the, the atmosphere is gas. So it's a gaseous planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it have any any um, trees or no? Just, just sand, sand. Just sand. And then the atmosphere is all gas. gas. Mm -hmm. And the ship is above. It's almost, it's coming out of, it almost looks like maybe a, like a black hole or something. It's coming out hmm. of this purple and blue and black corridor or something. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like uh, you're defending yourself against this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this has happened before? Not here. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's find out what happens. I want you to advance the scene until something happens. It just seems like everything is a blanket of sand, like there's, I can't see anything. It doesn't feel like I have that body anymore. Okay. Do you feel like you lost your body? Yes, I feel like there's nothing here on this planet anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you lost your life there? I can't tell. I feel like... You will always be consciousness. The only thing that changes is the outerwear. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah, that must be true. Mm-hmm. Let's find out how you lost your body. Go back to the moment before you lost your body and tell me what was happening. I hear the sounds. You hear the sounds? What kind of sounds? They're like lasers. Lasers. There's no way to escape. There's, there's no, no more weapons. What do these lasers do to you? They're coming. They're coming. They're gonna kill us. The whole planet's gonna be destroyed. I can't get away from it. I just see sand everywhere, they're everywhere, the lasers are all around me. I know that 
that I'm going to die. <laughs> I know that this is the last, the last time. It's, it's scary. There's lasers everywhere. There's, the ship is getting closer. It's gonna kill us. Hey, do you see other people around you? No, but I know, I know that they're there. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything but sand. Mm -hmm. And as you're, this is crossing through your mind, what are you thinking about besides the fear? Do you feel that you had something to do there? I feel like I'm a fighter. I fight. Mm -hmm. I fight for this place. I protect it. I'm protecting everyone here. And I failed. And I can't, I can't save the planet. Mm -hmm. I want you to stop that frame right there. Allow yourself to stop before you pass on. Freeze that frame. I want you now to go inside of your body and feel that relaxation. Feel the relaxation in your body. Right before you transition, you can feel the peace. I want you to understand that you did the best that you could. You will always be a warrior, won't you? That was what you came here to do. What would you like to do in another lifetime? using your skills and your knowledge. I still protect people. You protect people. Very good. So I'd like for you to use those skills and knowledge, but not without the fear of failure. Not without the fear that you have to save them. Acknowledge the fact that you are there to help them but they also have to help themselves. Can you understand that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're not there to save the whole planet. There were also others with you. Was, this, was it not? I feel like it was me. Mm -hmm. It was my job. Mm -hmm. But this was just one experience. And you'll get to do, use this experience in another lifetime. Can you forgive yourself now for failing, for feeling like a failure? You couldn't, you couldn't fight that entire ship on your own with that one missile. Do you understand that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself for feeling like a failure? I'd like for you now to go to that end, see what happens as you transition, knowing that you can pass on with peace in your heart, knowing that you did your best. Tell me what happens next. I feel like my light going up into the universe. Mm -hmm off of the planet. Mm -hmm. Look back at that planet and tell me what it looks like. It just looks like a layer of gas. Mm -hmm. and now you'll be able to know who those people were that were destroying your planet. Connect and find out who they were. Who are these people? They look like insects, like yeah. mm -hmm. metallic insects. Metallic insects. Mm -hmm. Like, but they stand mm -hmm. and walk like humans. They just are like s metal, some kind of metal. Mm -hmm. And do these metallic insects have some sort of a soul? No. It, I, they're, 
they're alive, but they're different. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that they're artificial? Maybe artificial intelligence? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what is their agenda? I feel like they want to conquer. Like they want to conquer. Mm hmm. For what purpose? No purpose. And they're just there to destroy? Just game or sport. In the game or sport, mm-hmm. What else can you get from them? hate. They're bad. They, they feel powerful, more powerful than anything. Mm -hmm. They feel like everything else is worthless. Mm -hmm. They have weird wings. Like, those wings that you wear like a Halloween costume, mm -hmm. but they're metallic. I guess they're like a gold, they're, everything's this brassy gold. The interior of the ship, the exterior of the beings that look like insects, they kind of look like... Praying mantis, but mm -hmm. more human. No, not human. Just their heads aren't as oblong as praying mantis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you say they're metallic? They're definitely metallic. Mm -hmm. Pointy, really thin bodies, pointy limbs. Like almost, they, they almost look like porcupine spines. Like that's the way they. Their bodies and their limbs look, but they're metallic. Mm -hmm. And then they have um, wings. Do you feel that these beings are individuals, or do they all think collectively? No, I feel like they are individuals. Mm -hmm. There's two that I see. One is a like the he's the leader, and the other one is like the driver of the ship. Mm -hmm. How many are how many are on the ship? I can only see two. Mm -hmm. Can you get anything else from them? No. Mm -hmm. Can you tell where they're going next? What's their agenda? I see. I see a planet, but it honestly it looks like Earth, mm -hmm. but with more cloud structures circulating, like, and the cloud structures are, they, they're almost like stripes mm -hmm. around the planet, but it seems like that's what they're looking at. So connect and find out what it is that they want to do with this planet. They want to destroy it. It's almost like I see this image of the planet and then these like large talons or something squashing the planet. Mm -hmm. like it's almost like it's like they put it between their fingers and squash it. Mm -hmm. Now as you observe this as an observer, what emotions do you feel? Are you connected or are you detached from this? I'm detached. I'm just watching. I'm to I feel like I'm now off of mm -hmm. their ship and just moving away from them now, but feeling like they can't be stopped and there's nothing that they are just going to do with that. And they're almost like a pestilence. Mm-hmm. They're moving through 
the universe like a plague. Mm -hmm. Can you tell what would be their their uh, weakness? Do they have a weakness? I can't see anything other than I, I'm seeing like this. It's so weird, like a gigantic mushroom, mm -hmm. and the mushroom is unfolding, like, so it's usually like an umbrella, but now it's like turning upside down, mm -hmm. and the mushroom is like overtaking them. It's super funny and weird. It looks like a cartoon, mm -hmm. but I mean, the mushroom could be a ship, mm -hmm. but it's organic. It's totally like a mushroom like it's organic it's alive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's overtaking it it's completely overtaking the ship and it's almost like swallowing it up and then it sort of like goes to black almost like they went into some time hole or something mm-hmm do you think that it's been destroyed or moved to a different place? I think it's been destroyed. It feels destroyed. Very good. Very good. So I want you to close that scene now. Close that scene. And I want you to go to the place that you go to between lives. And I want you to meet with the council in the moment, the time before you became the woman known as Jackie. I want you to go to your council. And tell me what you see there. Look around you. I don't really see see anything. I feel like I see sort of a shadow, mm -hmm. but it's maybe like black, like wisps of gas. Mm -hmm. What do you feel from this shadow? I feel like it's another just part of the universe like somehow it's mm -hmm. responsible for making making the universe mm -hmm. so get closer to it allow that shadow to transform into something that could communicate with you so that you'll find out the reason and purpose we're coming into the lifetime of Jackie. It's sort of funny, it has this, it's still like this black blob, but it has like lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like bright lips mm -hmm. and no other features. It's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like they're male or female lips? It's di neither. It's just kind of a mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Can you communicate with this black blob? It's showing me like a blue light. Mm -hmm. And the blue light sort of has a black outline to it. It's trying to like almost show me an image of someone, but mm -hmm. I can't see it very clearly. Mm -hmm. Just ask it to show itself. To give you the image. It's just this bright blue light. Mm -hmm. What are you getting from it? Communicate with it telepathically. 
Oddly, I feel like it's a bear. Mm-hmm. Ask it if this is your spirit guide. I can't tell. Mm-hmm. What do you feel from it? I feel comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. Just kind of sits here. I I don't feel anything other than mm -hmm. I'm happy that it's here. Very good. Do I have permission to speak with your higher self? Yes. Thank you. I know that you could have shown Jackie many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her the one of this type of a lion type figure? What was that? It's who she is. Mm hmm. What is that? It's a lot of pain. A lot of pain? Tell me about that. She was supposed to protect and failed. Mm hmm. In another, in the when she was a lion. in charge of all of the people. Mm -hmm. She was the leader. How did she fail? I can't see it. Mm -hmm. Was the planet destroyed? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you showed her the one? The second one? Yes. In the sand? She failed. She failed. So she kind of is going through life trying to be, to save the planet. Yes. Is she trying to do the same thing here? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what's her mission in this lifetime? Mm-hmm. What is she protecting? People. Mm-hmm. People who can't stick up for themselves. Mm-hmm. She protects her people that are weaker. Mm-hmm. But that seems to be weighing in on her, weighing her down. How can we help her today, knowing that she has this, that she's a warrior, that she's here to protect, but not have her physically take on all of these problems? It's okay to ask for help. Mm -hmm. Who can she ask for help? Spirit guides. Mm -hmm. Is that the bear that she saw? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that spirit guide have a name? Guy. Kaya? With a K or a G? K. Mm hmm. So Kaya is her spirit guide. Is it a male or female spirit guide? Male. Male. Mm hmm. Can you tell her anything else about her mission? You will get to the place that you are looking for. Just don't be afraid. Trust in yourself. 
they will have deep sadness but that's who you are and you can handle it because that's who you are mm -hmm. she's been told many times that this is what she is that she's the keeper of people's sorrow yes is that true yes mm -hmm. she wanted to know more about that meaning how, and how she can get through this job the best way you're here to protect and love you know how to keep them all together everyone that's lost Make them feel like they matter. Just keep doing it. Is she getting the answer? Yes. Okay, very good. She wants to ask about her deceased father. And connect with him. Is she able to connect with him today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is he available to speak with her? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the light will permit it? Yes. All right, I'm going to count from one to three. When I count to three, I'll touch your forehead and we'll speak with Eugene. One, two, and three. Good afternoon, Eugene. Hi. Your daughter wanted to connect with you today. What would you like to tell her? It's been a long time. Yes, it has. Mm -hmm. Tell her what you've been doing. I've been watching. I see you. And I'm proud of you. Miss Jackie. You always doubt yourself. But you always been a strong one, my strong girl. Remember the tape from Turkey? I know you listen to it. I'm always with you. You know it. You can call on me. Jackie, speak with your dad. I, I, I miss you. I hope that you're with me. I know that you are now. I want you to help Donna and Mike and Mom. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm strong. But please help. Please, when Harmony dies, please show her, meet her, meet her at the light, and bring her so she's not alone. Please be there for her, because she's very alone right now, and she needs you. Mm -hmm. Eugene, what would you like to say to your daughter about that? You know I will, honey. We'll be together. And it's okay. You don't have to worry. Would you like to give your daughter a hug, Eugene? Yes. All right. Permit me to help her with her hands. Allow you to give her that big hug. Give her that hug. Jackie, what do you want to tell your dad? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Is there anything else you'd like to tell him or you feel complete now? I feel good. Very good. 
Eugene, thank you very much. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Thank you. And let me speak with the higher self again. Take a deep breath in. Allow yourself to relax back into position. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for allowing that today. Would you tell her a little bit about Harmony? She's very concerned. She wants to connect with her. She wants to learn how to make him more comfortable in these handicapped senior years. Harmony. Mm -hmm. Can she connect with with Hammy? No. Mm-hmm. Is Hammy okay? He's old. He's old. Mm-hmm. Can you allow her to feel that feeling of allowing her to detach from, from him, knowing that her dad is going to be able to meet Hammy there? Mm -hmm. Give her that feeling now of knowing that he's going to be okay. That one never dies, one only changes form. Knowing that Hammy's going to be with her. She tells me that she always has a song in her head from the moment she wakes up until she sleeps. And it's often the answer to a prayer or a question. What is this all about? How can she use this? Listen, listen to it. Mm -hmm. It's what you're asking about. You're doing the right thing by listening to the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So as she listens to the lyrics, she gets the answers to your messages? Mm -hmm. Where are these messages coming from? Just for the higher self or from others too? Our spirit guides. Mm -hmm. How many does she have? Twelve. Twelve. Do they have names? Or special jobs to do? They have... They, they do have names mm -hmm. and jobs. Mm -hmm. Job. Mm -hmm. Job. Job is one of Joe or Joe. I think mm -hmm. it's Joe. Mm -hmm. I keep hearing the word Cassie. Cassie. Mm -hmm. They come to her in ceremony and she sees them. Mm -hmm. Those are the people she sees. The light people. The light people. Very good. She tells me about these ceremonies and she wants to know if this is the right path for her. Yes. Is there any other ways that she should practice? She should meditate. She should meditate? Mm-hmm. Eat vegetables. Mm -hmm. Go to the water. Be by the water. Would it help her to meditate by the water? Yes. Mm -hmm. It could get pretty cold though. She doesn't care. Okay. It's cold. Okay, good. Relationships. She wants to know why she has so much anger and sadness towards people in her lives. Why can't, she can't stop thinking about these people. She feels regret mm -hmm. that she couldn't save them. Mm. She loves too deeply 
Mm-hmm. And so her heart breaks completely and it stays with her for a long time. How can we help heal that today? She needs more light in her heart. Mm -hmm. Can we put that light there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Send her that divine light. And tell me what's happening as you fill her heart. It's beating. Mm -hmm. With light. Very good. Is there anything that she needs to remove today that I can assist with? So that her heart is not as burdened. Mm-hmm. Does she need to forgive herself today? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put my hand over her heart so we can help with that. Everything that you've done in your life, everything finds a way into that heart. And we have regrets. And I want you to give me all of those regrets that you have. All of them were just experiences, just like when you were a child and you were learning how to walk, and you had to fall many times. Every experience you have is like one of those falls, but we can't continuously sit down, can we? Allow yourself to forgive yourself for those pains. Give them to me. Take them out. Let's give them to the universe for healing. You don't need to block your heart with those regrets. Tell me when I have them all. Go from your head to your toes and back. Empty those. Empty your heart of those regrets. take that and send it up to the universe. And now what would you like to fill it with? You have some divine light that was filled in. What else would you like to fill your space with? Strength. Strength. Let's put lots of strength in for that warrior. You know that you have that strength. You've always been a warrior. You've always been able to find that strength. Find it now. Fill that space. And let's seal that. I'll touch your forehead and seal that in there. How does that feel? Good. Anything else you need to put in there? Courage. Mm -hmm. Lots of courage. You have a big task. Big task. You've been tasked to save planets and to save people. Let's put that courage in there. Fill it up. Do you feel complete? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let me speak with your higher self. How did that work for her? Good. Mm -hmm. So as she finds other partners in life, what, what advice would you like to give her about that? Be strong. Mm -hmm. Don't hide yourself. Don't apologize. She needs to be authentic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Will she ever find a deep, connected love partner again? Yes. Very good. Anytime soon? Yes. Mm, very good. Who's in our life right now that's in our soul group? Maya. Mm -hmm. What were they in another, in another life? Sisters. Sisters. They feel like sisters, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Kate. Mm -hmm. 
What were they? Cassettes. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Maddie. Mm -hmm. What relationship do they have? Partner. Partner. Mm -hmm. Anybody else you need to know about? Okay. She's asking about her family. She seems to be the glue that unites all of them, keeps them together. But she needs more strength. She needs to be more connected and supportive. She wants to know how to be a better, more loving daughter. She seems to have a lot of anger and resentment. What's causing that? Sadness. Mm-hmm. Family broke it. Mm-hmm. Did she choose this family for that reason? To help them. Mm -hmm. So she wouldn't have chose. She would not have chosen a family that wasn't broken. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she's actually in the right place. Yes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she wouldn't have a job to do. Yes. How can she be better, though? More love. Mm-hmm. Unconditional love? Yes. Okay, good. She's always worked in the nonprofit areas. And she wants to go more into uh, different different arenas. Maybe more of a creative path. What would you like to tell her about that? Art is important. Mm -hmm. Does she need to start her own nonprofit art place? No. Mm -hmm. Healing with art. Healing with art, okay. Healing with disadvantage. Mm hmm. Old. And the seniors? Mm hmm. The older people? Yes. So she could actually do what she's doing now, but incorporate more art into it to help them? No, it's more of using their. reminding them they're still human, and ah. they're still alive. Okay. And they can be beautiful. make things mm -hmm. because they are human. Wonderful. And does she need to, what does she need to do to start her own nonprofits? Just do it. Just do it, okay. All right. Does she need to be working for animals or with animals? Yes. Mm hmm does she know where she needs to go now? No. No? Could you direct her? Yes. Okay. So I'd like to ask her guides, her entourage, to start working with her so that she can start uh, doing what she loves, helping these people with the art and the animals. Can you do a body scan on her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you find. Even her upper neck. Mm hmm. What is that? Stress. Mm hmm. From stress. From stress. Can you work on her on that? Yes. Mm hmm. Give her some light there. Yes. Mm hmm. And Jackie, as you breathe. Feel yourself relaxing those muscles more and more. 
allow the light to penetrate. Use your heartbeat to relax those muscles more and more. Allow the light to come in and heal you. And as you're doing that, what else did you find in her body? She has problems with her right knee. Mm -hmm. What's that all about? Go to look at it. Mm -hmm. What's causing it? There's no padding. There's no padding. No padding. Mm -hmm. What caused this? She had an injury mm -hmm. when she was a teenager. And I know that the body is something that can be fixed. It's physical, but it's also non-physical. How can we get that padding fixed? Exercise. Exercise. Very good. Any specific type of exercise? Swimming. Mm -hmm. Swimming. Biking. Mm -hmm. Biking. Will that loosen up the area? More muscle. More muscle. Okay. Could I ask on her behalf to start building up that padding? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to also ask the non-physical physicians to come in and help her, assist her with this. Archangel Raphael. If you can continue working with her at night when she's sleeping so that we can get that padding regenerated again. Is that okay with you, higher self? Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else is going on there? She says there's also numbing and throbbing on the left side of her body. What's causing that? Too much bad food. Too much bad food? Much meat. Too much meat? Oil. Mm hmm. And oil. So stop eating meat. Stop eating meat? I know that meat has become, if, if someone is used to eating meat, it's very difficult for them to stop. How can you assist her with making, making better choices in her diet? I show her the animal. Show her the animals. And how she loves the animals. Mm -hmm. And she can't stand by and let that happen. All right. So whenever she thinks about food, can we get her a picture of those animals? She does already. Okay. So how can we get her completely off of these meat and oils and junk food? Perfect, perfect. And will the numbness and throbbing go away? Yes. All right, fabulous. How can she clear her heart chakra? Prayer. 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 Mm hmm Can we begin to open it up today? Yeah. Thank you. Is there anything in particular that's brought blocking this chakra? Fear. Fear? Mm hmm Of what? Breaking all the time. Of breaking all the time? What does that mean? Her heart breaking? Yes. Okay. So can we get some maybe elasticity around her heart? Yes. So that it's a little bouncier. It doesn't crack and break as easily. Yes. Give her some flexibility there to where she can extend her heart without having it broken. She can extend her, out, her heart out to the world 
and not break. Can you give her that? Yes. Thank you very much. What's causing her lower back issues? Her knee. Mm, her knee. Okay. So as we work on the knee, can you also work on her back? Yes. Strengthen it? Yes. Is this back, is there anything coming from another life on that, for the back? Any responsibility that she's brought with her that's heavy? See, it's dark at that area. Mm -hmm. What's happening in that area? Is that an influence? It's something maybe that's attached. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to speak with this energy? Yes. Mm -hmm. So allow me to bring the energy up. Bring it up, 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 up. Good afternoon. How long have you been there with Jackie? A while. A while. Are you male or female? Male. Male. Do you have a name? George. George. Mm hmm. George, what allowed you to connect with Jackie? She was asking for help. Mm hmm. What kind of help? Devastated. Mm hmm. Sad. She didn't know what to do. Mm hmm. She asked. She asked the universe for help. Mm hmm. And did you hear the call? Yeah. Mm hmm. And George, what is it that you are? What gives you the ability to help her in these times? I don't help. You don't help? What do you do? I'm a bug. Oh, you're a bug? What kind of bug? Beetle. A beetle? Mm hmm. So, what do you do for her? Nothing. Nothing. What do you do against her? I pull her down. You pull her down. Why is that, George? Why are you pulling her down? I hate her. You hate her? Hate is a strong word. Where did you come from, George? How did you know her before? I don't know. I want you to think back to where you knew her from before. Because for someone to say that you hate them, it means that some of you have known each other before. Seems like you're looking for revenge. Where did you know her from before? Maybe a spear. I'm a spear. You're a spear? She used me. She used you somehow mm -hmm. to hurt other people? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you had consciousness? No, I don't think so. No? Tell me. How did she use you? Spear. Mm -hmm. Weapon. You're a weapon? A weapon. Mm -hmm. In this lifetime or another lifetime? Mm-hmm. So what happened after after you weren't a weapon anymore? What happened to you? Went back into metal. Mm-hmm. Into metal? Yes. Mm-hmm. So how did you find Jackie in this lifetime? She called to me. She called to me. Mm-hmm. To protect her. But? But I am hurting her. Very hurting her. 
On purpose? No. Mm. You're not able to help her in the form that you have now. No. Mm -hmm. In what form can you help her? In beauty. So George, I'd like for you to use all of the powers that you have to transform yourself into this beauty. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you look like now. I'm, 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 I'm a nice bug. A nice bug, okay. So now that you're a nice bug, we want to be able to have you help her from the light. Because that would be using all of the power of Source. Would you like to do that? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to gather all of your energy, all of the attachment that you have to her lower back, now that you're this beautiful bug. Remove all of the attachment. And Jackie, let me know what it looks like inside. It's like a black smoke. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to use maybe a little vacuum cleaner. And as George is removing the essence, I'd like you to pick it up in that vacuum. Get all of the smoke, clean it all up, remove it from your back, see yourself going through it, tell me when it's all gone. Very good. I'd like for, to ask for my angels of the light to come and encapsulate George. Encapsulate him in a beautiful white light. George, feel the love. And I want you to take that vacuum bag full of your smoke and take it with you. I want you to pull everything out, anything else that's left in there. And what would you like to tell Jackie about what you've done to her? Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Jackie, what would you like to tell back? Mm -hmm. Do you forgive yourself, Jackie, for calling this bug into your life? Yes. Mm -hmm. So remove all that regret that you have. You don't need it anymore. And allow the universe to release it. So George, I'd like for you now to go up to the top of her head. I'm asking Archangel Michael to deliver you to the light. And as you go, George, I want you to look around her and see if there's any other bugs, any other entities that are affecting her today. Any others that are waiting to possibly take your place. Look around. She's a pet of worm. Mm -hmm. Where is this worm? Right over me. Oh. All right. All right, over it. Okay. So, George, go ahead and go to the light. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to take you. And I'm going to bring this worm up, 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 up. Good afternoon. You can express yourself. Hello. Are you male or female? Female. What can I call you? Sherry. Sherry? Mm -hmm. How long have you been there, Sherry? Teenager. Mm -hmm. How did you find Jackie? She was sad. Mm -hmm. Did that make her vulnerable for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what have you caused her all this time, Sherry? Pain. Mm hmm Why did you cause her pain? She asked for it. She asked for it. Mm 
What else have you caused her? Hanging your head. Mm-hmm. What shape are you in? A cylinder worm? How big are you? Like a carrot. Like a carrot, okay. Let me speak now with Jackie. Jackie, do you realize that you called this worm to give you pain? I think so. Mm hmm. Are you ready to release it? Yes. Mm hmm. So go ahead and tell Sherry what your desires are now. Please forgive me for asking you earlier. Please go in peace. Mm -hmm. Let me speak now with Sherry. Sherry, do you hear what she says? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go? Yes. All right. So I want to I want you to pull all those influences out from inside of her. Jackie, take a look and see what it looks like from inside. How is she attached to you? She's wrapped around my ovary. Mm hmm In what way? Like a vine. Like a vine of some sort. Mm hmm What would you like to use to start detaching her? Light. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and start using that surgical light. Start cutting away at all of her influence. And Sherry, I'd like for you, as she cuts away, to start detaching yourself. Start picking up all of your influence from anywhere in her body. Pull it all out. Take it with you. I'm asking the warriors of the light to come in and help with this one. See if there's any others that are hiding. Encapsulate her. Keep cutting away, Jackie. Let me know when you cut all of that out with that light. Okay. All right. Are you ready to leave now, Sherry? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Go on up through the crown of her head, and we're going to have Archangel Michael take you to the light. May the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much for releasing all of the influence that you have on her. And I'd like for you to look through the body and see if there's any other influences. We're looking for one called Guido. I'd like to ask for Guido to step up. I'm going to shine my light on this body. And as I do, I'm going to bring up the energy of Guido. Good afternoon, Guido. Have you been affecting her? You've had quite a hold on her. Okay. Are you just here? I don't want to leave. Mm hmm. All right. So allow me to talk to Guido. I'm going to ask my angels to wrap themselves around him, squeeze him tight, encapsulate him. And as they squeeze him tight, he's going to feel the pressure. He's going to feel the pressure and know that he has to speak with me. Guido, I'm speaking you to you directly and you need to answer me directly. Okay. How long have you been there with her? A while. Mm -hmm. And why are you there with her? Because it's fun. It's fun. Mm -hmm. How did you find her? Did she call you? No, I think I just saw her. You saw her? Mm-hmm. 
And what were the weaknesses that allowed you to attach to her? She was young. Mm-hmm. How young? Ten, maybe. Mm-hmm. Where did you attach to her? Mm-hmm. In her side. In her side. Are you the one that causes the numbness? Yes. Mm-hmm. So what do you do for her? I make her more exciting. More exciting. Mm-hmm. In what way? She's... She needs to live a little. Mm-hmm. She needs to live a little. And why is it that you want her to be more exciting? Did you have a dull life, Guido? No. Tell me about your life. Where did you live before? New York. New York. And how old are you? Thirty. Thirty. How did you die, Guido? A car accident. A car accident. Whose fault was it? Mine. Mm-hmm. How did you die? How did you have this accident? I was driving too fast. Mm-hmm. On the freeway. On the freeway. So, Guido, you lost your life too early. Yeah. And you wanted to continue living, didn't you? Yeah. So you found Jackie. Yeah. And you had some fun with her. Yeah. Are you doing anything to her sexually? Yeah, I just show her what's fun. Mm-hmm. Guido, do you think that that's something right? That you should be attached to this woman's body? No. Why didn't you go to the light, Guido? I wasn't ready. Are you ready now? You know, I'm going to have you check out what, what it feels like to go home, but I don't want you to stay there. I'm going to have the angels take you. I want you to go up through the top of her head here, and I just want you to go towards the light and tell me what you feel as you get close to it. What does it feel like? It's warm. Mm-hmm. Take a look and see if there's anybody waiting for you there. Mm-hmm. Who is that woman? Take a look. It's always someone you know. Yeah, it's Sam. Mm-hmm. Are you ready to go see her? Yes. All right, before you do, I want you to pick up all of your energy from her body. Disconnect yourself. Jackie, go in there and do the same thing you did before. Disconnect Guido from you. Pull everything out. Guido, do you have anything to say to Jackie for doing this to her? I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm really a good guy. You just died too young, didn't you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, pull all her energy out, please. Don't leave anything there behind. And I'm going to ask the angels to accompany you so that you don't come back. May the light of the universe accompany you, Guido. Thank you very much. And I'd like the higher self to come back in. Thank you very much for allowing that today. How does she look now? She's clean. Very good. Would you do me a favor and completely seal her aura so that we don't have any any more attachments? Yes. Mm -hmm. And would you scan the room and make sure that there's no others waiting to take over anybody in this room. Scan the room, make sure there's nobody there waiting. How's it look? Something by the light. Mm -hmm. Something dark. Something small. Dark, something dark and small. I'd like to ask Archangel Michael to go after this little darkness and tell me what happens. It's gone. Very good. Very good. 
Is there anything that I could have asked today that I didn't ask yet? Are we complete today? Thank you. Do you have a final message for Jackie? You are supposed to. Follow. Follow your ways. Mm -hmm. Are we done? Yes. Thank you very much. Holy shit. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. What a ride. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my god. I had no idea. <laughs> Holy cow. That was pretty amazing. Holy shit. That was really intense. And oh wow. How did it feel? I, you know, when I, I wish I would have asked, like, what, well, no, you did ask what planet it was. Andromeda? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. But I feel like both of those planets were different. Yes. When I was the lion guy and the mm -hmm. warrior guy. Yeah. It was too different. Too wow. Different. So that they still was, had the same job. Yeah. And the same kind of, and those, like, look. Yeah. Like, interesting look. Well, so the lion guy was, like, obviously my body. Yeah. Um, and those uh, insect, those... Oh, those guys were crazy. I can't mm -hmm. wait to draw all this stuff. Because mm -hmm. they were seriously menacing, but in a all-dominating way. Like, there's mm -hmm. nothing that could defeat them except for that... Mushroom. The mushroom, yeah. It looked like like cremini, you know, <laughs> and then when they, when they spoil and when they're still connected to the earth, mm -hmm. they sort of do this thing. Yeah. And that's what it was doing over the ship. <laughs> <laughs> and just engulfed it and then it just like disappeared wow it's amazing oh, it was so cool <laughs> that this is that was awesome oh my god <laughs> holy cow what do you guys have in the water in seattle I know. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. One after another. it's amazing yeah well i think it's no mistake that we're all friends yeah uh -huh. i think so mm -hmm. so is this something that you want to share oh god yes i i don't yeah there was nothing in there that was... Oh, no, I don't... I, yeah, I want everyone to see it. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. So, uh, you recommend this? Oh, God, yes. Everyone, everyone. <laughs> if they're ready for it. Wow. You have to be ready for it, obviously. I feel like it... Well, yeah, I, I don't know. That's an interesting concept. Because mm -hmm. I was nervous going in, and I feel like I'm pretty connected to spirit and mm -hmm. my soul. But as we were starting, I was like, I really hope that it, that I can relax my mind because mm -hmm. I'm so just constantly thinking about something yeah. like my left leg hurts or my eyes are blinking or, you know, you it's just great. How long do you feel that you were on this journey? An hour, maybe? About an hour and 40 something minutes. Oh, wow. Long wow. time, huh? Yeah, long time. Didn't think about it. So let me disconnect you now. And let me have the selenite. How did that work? It was interesting when you were talking about um, your hands melding with mm -hmm. the selenite. I felt it. Mm -hmm. I, I felt sort of the the energy of the mm -hmm. of the stone kind of go in me. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So let's get some light on and let's have a seat so I can say goodbye. <laughs> This was such an intense session. Oh gosh, it was awesome. It was so awesome. I mean, this is this is gonna be great for those people who love sci-fi and yeah. love all this UFO stuff because well, you were really out there. Yeah, and I mean everything that I've read growing up in sci-fi, I it's almost like I could see it and feel it. Because you you kind of like lived it. Yeah, know? yeah. And now as you were describing yourself, I mean that was a bizarre the body. Bob. The blob was, was the blob, strange. and then the line guy, and then the the weird guy was more human, but definitely not like his um, 
sort of body armor had yeah. like lasers built into it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then the beetle guy. Yeah. What was that about? So, he, so this is what I was saying. Um, as the warrior, mm -hmm. I was holding this staff that had this like extension that mm -hmm. he was the staff, this mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I used the staff, it had lasers in it to kill people. And that entity didn't want to kill people. Uh, There's something about the staff that it was like, as with the uh, alien race that I encountered, mm -hmm. um, it was also alive, like artificial intelligence. So oh, it yeah. didn't want to murder. Wow. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> You know, you learn something new. Yeah, <laughs> session. Yeah. It's amazing. And you are so, um, I tried to do, well, I did, uh, before you you died in that lifetime as the warrior. I mean, I went in there and I had to stop. Mm. How did that feel? Do you remember? It was interesting. It, like all the fear sort mm -hmm. of stopped and everything just sort of became dark. Mm -hmm. and And I felt like I was still in this body, but I was mostly like moving Mm -hmm. towards disintegrating my energy. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't as intense? Not at all. When she said, what? don't yeah. feel it, yeah. it sort of stopped. Okay. But when previously, when I was experiencing the all of the, like coming down and mm -hmm. it was exploding around me, yes. it's sort of like what you would see in a movie mm -hmm. that depicted war with mm -hmm. Um, shells exploding around you. But, but these were sand dunes. Yeah. Wow. Um, but sand dunes all around mm -hmm. and it just chaos. Well, the reason I did that is because when you when you help someone in a past life, it affects all the others. Oh, interesting. So mm -hmm. by eliminating that that terror of, mm -hmm. of that fear of, mm -hmm. of, you know, being a failure, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it could, tra it could trick her down. Mm -hmm. So, where are you from? Uh, Seattle. <laughs> so I came all the way from Seattle. There's a yeah. whole group that came down from mm -hmm. Seattle. And all, one is one is better than the other. Oh. <laughs> one is getting, these are amazing, yeah. amazing sessions. Yeah, and we are we always sit together and, and try and help each other mm -hmm. with just talking about this stuff, you know. So it's been a long time coming. We've all been really excited to come. So here. this was really worth it. Oh, yes, absolutely. So I guess we have a lot of other people in Seattle. Yes, there. yeah. Looking forward to this. At least 10 people. Wow. <laughs> Well, if you are interested in having a session, just go to albawyman.com. And I also travel around the United States. If you're interested in seeing where I'm going to next, you can go to my out of town page, click on one of the pictures, and you'll see the calendar there for my out of town. You have to match the date of the session with my calendar to see if there's anything available. So until the next time, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so awesome. That was great. <laughs>